My love, where are you going to? <coughs> Baby, I, I want to get some food for the goats and I also check my trap across the river. Please, honey, I don't want you to cross that river today. Why? I dreamt where you drowned. Where I drowned? Me? And no, it's not possible now. Have you forgotten that I am the greatest swimmer in this village? Is it good? Honey, I know, but you know, sometimes accidents happen. Please, I know it's just a dream, but it was too real. <sighs> okay, I have had you. I have had you, I will not cross. My love, mm -hmm. remember to buy my pan wine for me. Your baby drained all the milk in my breast last night. <laughs> This boy has started competing with me. Why will you drain all the, the milk in your breast? Why? Why won't you compete with you? You have been drinking it since. Let him drink his own job. Why won't I drink it? Why won't I suck it? Was I not the one that paid your bride price? Eh, uh, no, pa. Bride price. That's small. This you get small. I paid a huge amount of money. What are you talking about? Let me out of here. Honey, remember, don't cross the river. No, I'm not, I'm not, Are you no. sure? Very, very sure. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm very sure. I'm going to take care of myself. Hey, how's it Today has been a bad day, a very bad one, and my wife asked me not to cross the stream. But who knows, who knows if I cross the stream whether I'm going to get a catch or not. There's no harm in trial, no harm in trial, I have to cross. not the cry of a baby that I'm hearing. Huh? Where is this cry coming from? have kept this baby here. Who? People can be so wicked. People can be so mean. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry no more. Oh, it's okay. okay. What do you mean you don't know? I found a baby by the riverside. You found a baby by the riverside and you brought the baby home? Exactly. I found the baby by the riverside and I... She was crying seriously. 
and I decided to bring her home. You brought a baby used for sacrifice to the river goddess. You brought the baby home. Yes, now. Yes. I saw the baby crying seriously, so I decided to bring her home. I don't want anything to happen to her. What else will your baby be doing by the riverside if it's not meant for the goddess? I'm saying that. I don't understand what you're saying. Honey, please, take that baby back to the river. Why? Why would I do that? Huh? I will not do that. This baby is going to stay with us. We will love and care for this baby. No, not for me. This baby cannot stay in my house. It's better you return this baby to that riverside. I'll cut this baby into pieces. No, no, no. Drop that matchup. Drop that matchup and drop it. Don't hurt this baby. baby cross this flag. And this baby will come to me. Try it. Honey? Let him play the baby. Just cross this side. I'll cut this baby into pieces. You for None. Neither are Kesha Mua, Obo Madu. Obo Kwa Do Onye Kusala Mua Hepa. Nikoro. Nikoro. Ete Reko Emu. Obo Mua Yin Kusere Ya. Obo Ne Ya Kusere Ya. Eji Hiya Cha Ajo Obo Na. Could say that the child is not, uh, I mean, it's a normal child and not the uh, ritual type. You see? So somebody left her there. For whatever reason, we don't know. Hmm? And we cannot uh, leave, uh, leave the child there. We cannot allow her to die. Hmm? To be frank, your husband is already in love with the little baby. Eh? So all what we want is for you to take the child in and nurture her as your own baby. Eh? No. You see, I'm coming. Eh? You know you are you, you are a suckling mother. All what she needs is your breast, the milk. That's all. Nine. On conditions. On conditions what? Oh. Eh, yes. <laughs> One, he has to double my expenses. Not waiting for me to ask him first before giving me. Okay, okay. Two, he woke up in the middle of the night to assist me with the babies. Three, I will no longer go to the shop to assist him more. Four, he will always help me in cooking. Then five, he will, from now up, will be the one fetching the water. <laughs> so that's all, eh? Huh. If you do all this now, you are okay? For now, that's all. Okay. If you say so, I think uh, everything is settled, eh? Okay? Um, honey, I have uh, had your... I've had your, your, your decision as in what you demanded. Hmm? But I still want to plead. I want to plead to you because of uh, the financial condition in this house. You know my shop is scanty, it's almost empty. And I don't have money to, 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 to stock a lot of goods in my shop. Hmm? So please, I want to plead with you to always accept whatever I can afford. 
to give both to you and to these children, please. You should have thought of that before bringing this ritual baby into my house. Anyway, it's your baby. If the baby starve, it's your baby. <laughs> Baby, you will never go hungry as long as I'm alive. You must feed and be fine, okay? Maria! 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 Welcome, my son. Who are you? And what are you doing with my baby? I'm breastfeeding her. I'm her grandma. But women of your age can no longer bear children and cannot even produce milk. I found her crying. I have breast milk reserved for my grandchild. And she needs to be breastfed. Where is my wife? I think she went out with your son. She went out with my son and left my daughter all alone, hungry and crying? Huh? Maria! 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 Where is she? Maria! What? How dare you? How dare you, Maria? What is it? Maria! So you left my daughter hungry, waiting to be breastfed, while you were busy gallivanting all over the village? Eh? And now my daughter is suckling the old woman's tired breast. Hey, Maria! Old woman, what? Come and see with your eyes. Come But she was here breastfeeding this MD. Where did she go? But I left her inside. She was sleeping when I left. And I made sure that I locked the door. How did she open the door? I mean, what happened? I don't know. Maria! I'm coming. What is it again? How well have you been breastfeeding this little girl Chisende? What kind of question is that? Does she look like someone who is poorly breastfed? Maria, in my dream last night, I saw one old woman breastfeeding Chisende. When I asked about you, she said that you left with my son, leaving Chisimde hungry and crying. And she also said that uh, she's uh, Chisimde's grandmother. <laughs> Is that funny? So you called me out here to tell me one dumb story of the dream you had with the grandmother and the breastfeeding. I don't understand. Please, if you don't have something serious to say, I have something doing. Please, I want to beg you in the name of God. I want you to be taking good care of that girl. Please. Okay, I will take good care of her. But you have to do your own part of agreement. For instance, their milk is about to finish. And you need to buy some wine for me, so I can boost up my breast milk. Or do you expect me to feed them with my blood? I have heard you. Huh? I will do all you said. Okay? Please. 
Take good care of the little girl for me. Can I go now? I have something to do. Maria, how could you let this happen? Eh? I had no choice. My husband and his kinsmen prevailed on me. Maria, you gave birth to a baby. And now you are nursing and breastfeeding two babies. And that your good Samaritan husband doesn't know the health implications. The next minute, he will claim to be educated. Are you stupid? Do you even know that that baby suckers like if she didn't test breast milk in her first world? Now listen to me, Maria. Let your husband come back first. That baby must be taken to orphanage. And that is my word. Thank you. Maria, let me be. Maria, leave me, let me go. Leave you? Yes, leave me. Where, where are you going to? You are going nowhere. You are going nowhere to give me money for baby food and money for my pan wine. I was on my own breastfeeding my son when you brought that ritual baby of yours for me to breastfeed. Never you call her ritual baby. <laughs> Never you call her that name again. Why won't I call her ritual baby? You know that anytime she wants to suck my breast, she would like to dry everything up. Eh? Leaving nothing for my son to, to suck. Leave me alone. Oh. Leave me alone. Oh. Maria, leave me alone. Let me go to where I'm going. This woman is growing wigs. It's growing tails and wings in this house. One day I will cut it for her. Hey! <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Cut it off now. Cut it off. I will help you and bring the knife. What are you waiting for? I was on my own when you brought that ritual baby of yours for her to kill me in this house. Instead of her to kill me, I will kill her first. What is the problem? Calm down. What is it? Tell him to give me money for food. Money for baby milk and money for my pan wine before he leaves this house. Thousand naira. Uh, uh, uh. Warn him. Warn him. I was on my own way, you brought that ritual baby of yours. For Stop calling her ritual baby. Stop. Instead of her Stop calling her that house, I will kill her first. Let me tell you, you have to start acting like a man. Act like a man that with, with two babies, not one. Eh? Warn him now. Maria! It's okay. It's Maria! It's okay. <laughs> but I don't understand what she's talking about. Two babies. I thought she had only a boy. Maria! It's okay. Maria! It's okay. If not for one thing. It's okay. If not for one thing. Let's not go. I should leave that one thing. You know, my friend. Our village is in serious trouble. Ilo, look at your shop. Ilo, your shop is scanty. You don't even have money to fill up your shop. The worst part of it is that you can't even feed your family. Ilo, if you ask me, I will say it's a very bad idea bringing that girl from Riverside to your home. It is not good. She might end up breaking up your family. I will see what I can do. As for the girl, she has come to stay. Ilo, don't get me wrong. You are not the reason I said our village is in trouble. Have you noticed that no one is doing well again in this village? We are having serious setbacks in our businesses. Take a look at me. My shop is going down every day by day. I'm afraid to tell you, I have decided to go and see Iko. So I will know what is happening. Mm, talking about Iko, I have already went to see Iko. And Iko told me that the young girl I picked on the riverbank 
my skin. And there's nothing wrong with the girl. So, I have always thought that there's something wrong in this village. Rape and robbery everywhere. Children does not even respect their elders. You know, talking about rape in this village is becoming so alarming. Did you know that a man drugged another man's wife hmm? and raped her in this village? Are you serious? I'm telling you, in this our Amako village. Hey, you know I'm scared. Presently, my wife is breastfeeding. So, whenever I buy palm wine, I always test it to know if they have already tampered with it, as in drugging it. So that my wife will not drink it and fall asleep, and one, one idiot will come from somewhere, a ripper. But, <laughs> not possible. I'm always around. Always close to my wife. You're welcome. The chief priest passed on last night. I know. Was he sick? Not really. His wife said he died in his sleep. Do you know that funny enough, I was actually on my way to lay a complaint. What complaint? I went to Ikoro's place to ask him why I'm having serious setback in my business. Do you know what he told me? Ikoro said that the young men of our village are under a cause. Under a cause? Did he equally say why? No. He only said I should ask the chief priest. But now the chief priest is no more. And we all know that it takes time to install a new one. So what do we do? Besides, in as much as I believe in Ikoro's divination, that doesn't mean that we should all panic over everything he says. Eh? You're just busy eating guava. What can I do? 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 The chief priest is dead. He's dead. What will you do? You should not eat guava. Yes, Daddy. What are you doing? Won't you go to school today? Eh? I asked her to stay back and wash clothes for me. This girl did not go to school yesterday. And today again, you don't want her to go to school. Why? Why are you shouting? Don't I have the right to ask Justin to stay back and wash clothes for me? Why won't I shout? Eh? Do you realize that her exam and that of okay is uh, is uh, is coming up by next month? How will she pass? I'm talking to you. Just same day. Before I close my eyes and open it, be on your feet and in your school uniform now. Just same day. Stay back and wash those clothes now. Nonsense. <laughs> You should be ashamed of yourself. Just look at the way you humiliate your wife in front of that little girl. Sometimes I don't understand you. Why do you always treat this girl like a slave? Why? Huh? What's the difference between a child that you gave birth to and the one that is not yours? What's the difference? Let me sound this as a note of warning. Let this be the first and the last time this girl will skip school in this house. If it ever repeats itself again in this house, you will see what I will do to you. Rush. Where is Chisimde? 
She's still changing her clothes inside. I just finished in my school because I'm very, very hungry now. Have you taken your after school leg? Mom, let me eat first. If I, if I collapse or die of hunger. I'm hungry, oh. I'm hungry. No, no, stop there. Where are you going to? You disobeyed me this morning. Make sure you finish these clothes here before you taste anything from my kitchen. Yeah? Mom, we just finished manual labor from school. And everybody is going hungry. In fact, everybody is hungry. Will you shut up your mouth then? If you want to eat today in the, in, for my pot, you must finish all these clothes. Did you hear me? Stop crying. Remember you beat up those two boys. My lioness. Okay, yes, them. When you finish eating my food, I'll go and wash your clothes and my clothes, then wash hers and daddy. She may find out. She won't. I'm handling this. Mm, how old are you now? <laughs> One year old. <laughs> Say anything. Why are you? Why are you? Just same day. Just same day. I asked you to fetch water for me and you're here playing. How long will it take you to, to, to get me a little water? No, Mr. Lion, we're just fetching it. How dare you call me a liar? How dare you call me a liar? Eh? No, 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 what happened? She slapped me. She slapped you? Why? Maria, why did you slap her? I know you always take side with her. Eh? Over your lovely wife. You always like to take side with her. Maria! One day you will push me to do what I wouldn't want to do. Maria! Maria! Let that day come. Eh? Please, Mama. Come up, come up, come up, please, Mama. Eh? So it was because of you. My husband nearly slapped me today. Eh? Small wind, trouble in the Eh? By the time I'm done with you today, when you see your mother, I recognize her. I will deal with you today. Seem they are twins, but you don't dress and do like twins. How do you mean? In our school, we have three twins, including I and Chisimdi. The two other twins wear the same clothes, the same cover shoe, the same school uniform. And they even have the same. If you go to their locker, you see the same color of books. 
My son, different strokes for different folks. And what does that mean? It means that uh, we all have our different choices of doing things. Hmm? Mm. I will not use because uh, Mr. A is doing a particular thing and I, Mr. B, will now decide to do what Mr. A is doing. No, I still have the right to choose the way I'll be dressing my own tweets. Okay, I mustn't do like the other person. I want you both to be different and you are different. You know your special twins. Yes. Good. So that is why I, I don't want to dress you people as in everything you wear, just in the we wear, no. I want you to be wearing different, different things because you're special twins. Do you understand? Yes. Good. And daddy, before this runs out of my mind, mm -hmm. why does mom treat just like a nobody? It's okay, just relax. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll tackle everything. Oh? Later in the morning before I go to school. Yes, it's not the way you're seeing it. Oh? Okay. Hello, in law. Hello. Hello. Who is your in law? How can I help you? Uh. In law, please. Uh, they they chased uh, my three children out from school. So please, I want to know if I can get uh, the money for their school fees from you. Later, I'll pay you back. I don't have money to give you. If you cannot send them to school, distribute them to people as boy boy. Okay. Thank you. Bye. In law. In law. This girl may end up breaking your home. So I suggest to give her out to somebody. As such, she will stay away from your wife for some time. You know you're not financially stable now. So it's going to be hard for you to carry your family and this girl. So I have a cousin sister. She's a widow though. But I believe she will be able to take care of this girl till her secondary school level. Yes. So think about it. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. I trust you. I know what you can do. Okay. I always take care of you. Okay, Mama. And take care of your auntie too. Hmm? Okay, Mama. Don't worry. One of these days I'll come and see you. Okay? Um, I'll miss you so much. I'll miss you too. <laughs> That's good. Eh? Yeah. Mm, I can be late. Thank you. I can. Bye bye. Eric, wait. I'm the one that called you, okay? And I'm going to have the video portion of this discussion. I already told you that I don't want anything that will bring embarrassment to my name. That's why I don't want to see that man. Seriously. It's all your fault. You said you were going to call me. Did you call me? You didn't call me. No, 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 no. You were supposed to call me. Did you call me? You didn't call me. Oh, driver, wait, wait, wait. I tell you should wait. What okay, is wrong with you? I should wait. Are you deaf? 
sorry, man. I do everything for you. I give you food. I clothe you. What is wrong with you? Just more instruction. You could not hear. Sorry, so sorry for yourself. Open this door for me. This is exactly the kind of man I want. The man of my dream. This guy is so handsome. Tall. Hi, I like him. Eric, it's all your fault. For real, it's all your fault. You said you were going to call me, but you never called me. I think he's well educated. Stop all these things you're saying. Did you call me? Look at those hands. Those hands can hold a woman. Very well. I can't wait for him to touch me. But my whole body. I like this guy. Every every kiss, please. I don't have enough time, okay? I'll, 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 I'll call you back. I'm looking for contact printers. Oh, okay, it's down there. First turn, second turn, then the top one. Oh, yeah. please, wait, wait, wait. Please, if you don't mind, can you take me there? <laughs> you, you didn't even ask me if I'm going somewhere. I'm sorry about that, but please, can you help me, please? Fine, Okay, you can come in. Come through there. Thank you. My name is Rochas, but my friends call me Rush. <laughs> nice name, Thank Rush. You. Anyway, nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so you, you drive down, eh? First, after the first turn, the second turn, then the last one. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. No, no, I've been speaking English all through. All right, then let's speak English so I can learn to speak like you. <laughs> Are you very okay? Fine, no problem. I'm game. Meaning? Meaning, I'm angry. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> hey, this will be very sweet. Forgive me. <laughs> 
<laughs> my engineer. You are my person. The man that owns this hat. Only the hat. <laughs> but you know everything now. So, but you engineer, <sighs> you know now. But no problem. So we need to go out. Yeah. We really need to sort that stuff. I can't wait. I can't wait. Settle it. I can't wait. wait. Let me call my girl. I'm chipping me. Chipping me. Get out of my bag. Wait for me, please. My engineer. <laughs> Thanks, okay? Engineer. Little girl, please hey, don't go there. Little, you say little. This is mm, the kind of thing I, I want to eat. Engineer, she is still very young. Wait, don't ever go there. Wait, don't you trust me? Okay, let's do it this way. I'll give you two million. Yes. Engineer. Two million. Engineer. That's me. Did I hear you mention two million here? That's your engineer. That's me. So engineer, you want to give two million to a small girl like her? Then what about me? What about me that has been giving you all these ties? Name them. You have been giving to me as a you use me anyhow without even giving me that kind of money before. Relax. I will settle you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll give three million. Engineer. No, 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 no. That girl is a no go Why are you doing this to me now? This girl is so fresh. Just give her to me. I, I, I need fresh blood now. Ah! <laughs> engineer. Engineer. That's me. <laughs> eh, it's alright. Then let's leave it for five million. I think with that money, I can convince her. And besides, the girl we're talking about is still a virgin. Wow! I got what I want. Five million. Engineer. Give me that girl. Engineer. Are you serious? You know I don't joke. Is that a deal? Are you serious? Trust me now. Ah! Come, 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 come. Settle. Let's go. Blessing my daughter. Mom. Now that you're about to go to the city, do not be carried away by the city life. Remember the family you come from and always respect your madam. Mother, you know I'm an obedient child. And I will not disappoint you. Thank you, my daughter. I must put a smile on your face. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, my daughter. Just like your name implies blessing. May you be a blessing to this family. Amen. And you shall make us proud. Amen. And I will. It shall be well with you, my daughter. So shall we be more. Hello, come this way. Okay, sir. 
Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Oh, I need to speak, You know, five million is a lot of money. And I've been cashed down lately. Which is affecting my business. Honestly, I really need this money. Once the engineer calls his account officer and I'll cash the check of five million in my account. I'll change my car. But how will I get to convince this girl to agree? Honestly, I just hope she will agree. Hey. Please, Nigeria, I'm sorry. 
So what is it? Mama, where have you? It's my madam. She threw me out of the house. Your madam threw you out of the house? Yes, ma'am. What did you do? Mama, I did not do anything. I did nothing. You did not do anything and your madam threw you out of the house? Yes. Mama, she's a wicked woman. She's what? evil. Maria. Maria has dealt with me. I asked Maria, Maria said her sister Rejoice is a very good woman. Hi! I cannot throw you out of the house. Welcome, my daughter. Thank Welcome. You. Go inside and drop your bag. This is your home. Feel at like home, okay? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, my angel. <laughs> Take her to the guest room. Okay, daddy, I'm coming. Oh, I love you. <laughs> love you, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> Baby me. Hold on. Are you telling me to marry you because I'm rich or because you love me? No, baby. Are you okay from the bottom of my heart? I'm not, I'm not asking you to marry me because of your own card or anything you have. I, I love you so much. Are you serious? Yes, baby. Okay. I'll marry you. But on what condition? Anything. I will do anything. You look at another woman. No problem. Are you okay with that? No problem. I okay. don't have to. I'll tell my lawyer to take the document for you to sign. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with it. Then I will marry you. 
Are you serious? You marry me? Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you for my wife. <laughs> I'm so I summon you here to tell you the rules that will be guiding your stay in this house. Rules? Yes. So, let me start. Number one, you must always wear bra. Uh -uh. Auntie, do you know that wearing bra at all times can cause a breast cancer? Are you a doctor? And Who told you that? And I know. I'm not done. Number two, you must always wear trousers. No skirts, no short skirts, no short gown. I mean, boyfriend trousers. It will not be tight on you. I hope you heard me. Number three, on no amount you will enter my father's room. On no condition. I hope you're hearing me. I don't want to see you near my father's door. Not talk of entering the room. We will. <laughs> Madam, I'm not done. Number three, you must not wear sleeveless like spaghetti hand that will be showing you your body or your breast. I don't want it in this house. I'm still contemplating on the ones you said so far. You are still even. I'm not done. So, let me tell you the last one. It it is too much. Shut up. Shut up. The last one. If I forget. I don't want you to wash your pants and spray it outside for my father to be seen it. I don't want that nonsense in this house. Okay? After washing it, keep it in your room. Okay. Excuse me for what? What do you want to say? I want to ask you a Eh, eh. Just keep that question. Is there anything? No, no, no. Don't ask me that question. Everything is wrong with it. I have my reasons. Okay? You will not understand. Okay? Just do as I say. I'm done with you. You can go and continue with your job. I don't understand though. What are you trying? What are you trying to tell me? Please go and do what I told you to do. Kata, you want to come here and snatch my father from my mother? I think I don't know your style. <laughs> My fiance wants to come and see your mommy. Oh my god. That is exactly what I've been expecting to hear from you. I've been waiting for this day. In fact, I can't wait to see him. When is he coming? Um next week. Next week? Yes. It's alright. Okay. Hey Daddy, since mommy is not around, maybe I'll call her on the phone and tell her. Ah, uh, you may not bother calling her. Um uh, what is okay for me is okay. Her. My choice is her choice. Okay. And that's why she's my wife. We are one. My choice is her choice. That's why she's my wife. Ah, I, mean, I need, like I need water. Mm. You need water. Uh, call Chisindi. Chisindi! 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 Are you deaf? I've been calling you! Auntie, sorry. Yeah, but I only heard you once. Are you trying to call me a liar? You want me to slap you now? No, Auntie. Get out from here, stupid girl. My angel, I I've never seen you in this way before. What has come over you? So if I allow you, you will slap her. In my presence. Daddy, I'm sorry. This guy is so annoying. I'm sorry. I will not do it again. I don't know that. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
So, uh, what do you do about the water? Do you go up and get the water? Let me go and get it by myself. to caution her and she put me down. I can imagine. She must leave this house today. So I brought you to this house. I take you like my daughter. So this is what I get from you. You want to break my daughter's leg? Eh? Sir, what happened here is beyond me. Meaning? You are a good man, sir. So please, don't get yourself involved. I'm leaving. Daddy, leave her, let her go. Leave her. I want to stay here. Take us my daughter. And what you want to do is just to, 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 to give another for Let her go. She's an evil child. I told her to Maria to send her to, to orphanage, and her husband refused. Me, 
Oh, Will you shut up your mouth? Where do you think you are going? Come back here. Okay, so, uh, uh, okay. let, let me take you to the hospital. You'll be fine. You'll be like fine. you die sorry, young. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just try, try. Stay Let's go. Me. Let's go. Orphanage? My auntie said she told my mother to take me to an orphanage, but my father refused. What was that all about? She called me mature child. And my own mother has called me that before. And I do strange things sometimes. They always send me out to live with people. Oh God, what is wrong with my life? Why is my life a basketball? Well, I am going home. I will ask my father, I will ask him. Are you blind? Sorry. I, I, Don't I, be silly. I tried to avoid you. But you are not looking where you were going. Sorry. Sorry. Silly girl, come and give me that bag. What was that for? After all, it was your fault. Are you stupid? How dare you make a mistake and push it on me? You slapped me! And that will slap you again! If you didn't make that stupid statement! Rubbish! You are a fool! Excuse me! I said you are a big fool! Did you just call me a fool? That's what you are! Are you stupid? Justice! 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 God, you're hurting me! <laughs> you're hurting me! <laughs> now! Oh, who is the fool oh, now? Me. Who is the fool? <laughs> What did you do to her? Oh, officer, you say a lie, yo. She, she, she attacked me first. Officer, you saw her, right? You saw her, she nearly hey. broke my head. Hey. She's lying. Hey, why are you lying? lying? Hey, officer, it's not true. She's lying. I don't know who to believe. <laughs> hey, come, 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 come. What do you think you're going? Oh. Where do you think you're going? Officer. You are under arrest. Yes. Oh. Under arrest. Oh, for what now? What is that mean or Hey, shh. Take it from here. Shut up. Yeah. Hey, shh. Shut up. Whatever uh, you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Are you hearing me? Right now, you're under arrest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Follow me. Come on, follow me. Um, as you can see, uh, you have to join us so that you'll be able to put down your foot line. Did you okay, get me? Thank you. Officer, 
What the time is. Eh? Let me call her. Hello. Hello, Idel. Idel, can you hear me? Where are you now? Where are you? Idel, see what the time is. Eh. Please hasty up, okay? Hasty up. Alright, alright. She'll soon be here. Okay, she's coming. Yes. Alright. So, what happened? You were limping while we were coming in. Sister, it was yesterday while I was coming back from market. One stupid girl. I was walking on my own. She was, she was walking like one village girl. She jammed me. I was like, are you okay? And she tried to ask me, am I okay? I was like, are you stupid? How dare you? Drag it back on me. I was trying to slap her and the girl held my hand. She nearly broke my leg. She mashed my leg and I was dragging my leg. It was two policemen that sent me home. I can't even take it from her. I dragged her to the police station. Yes, I put her in inside cell. Hold on, please. Rose, you fought someone on the road? Rose, you fought on the road? Ah, sister. Why, you, you're, not, you're not understanding I this. I cannot understand this. Shut up, let me talk. If I am talking, you shut up and listen, okay? Why, why, why are you finding it difficult to understand me? You fought on the road. It's not exactly what happened. It wasn't my fault. It's her fault. You are a disgrace. You are shameless. Hey! It wasn't my fault. It was her fault. That's Shut true. up, my friend. Shut up. You can tell how beautiful you are. Sister, why are you finding it difficult to understand? Shut your mouth! And you took her to the police station. Sister, you see that girl? She will rot in there. She's not coming out. She will rot in there. I will, I will show her that I'm not like other girls. Who is the girl? I don't know how one village girl like that. I am disappointed in you. Ah! Hello, Idel. Idel, I'll soon leave here. I'll soon leave here. Do you understand? I will still live here. And if I live here, I'm not coming back. Okay? Oh, now. Her.
Who are you? And how did you get in here? You are here pressing your phone while your daughter is in the cell, dying of hunger. <gasps> I can help her. This woman, who is she? Hi. Oh my God. She saved my daughter. My daughter. Which one is my daughter? What's happening to me? What's what? My daughter. Is in the cell, hungry. The girl held my hand. She nearly broke my leg. She mashed my leg, and I was dragging my leg. I dragged her to the police station. Eh? Yes, I put her in, inside cell. You called me. Is anything the matter? I called you. We are going to release that girl. We will release that girl. Sister? No! That will not happen. Sister, look at my leg. I can't even walk well. That girl, she should be there till further notice. Wrap your phone or the organizer. My dear, I know. I know. We must release her. Okay? We must release her and it is final. You can now go. Sister, I can't see you walk well. Whatever be the case, we must release her. It is a to me. What? Remember what I hit you with. <laughs> it's not what you're saying. <laughs> Just what she said, I can't remember. Don't worry. Huh? You will heal soon. Cry, cry, baby. <laughs> oh, seriously, she did that very day. It was really something nice. And what you started. <laughs> she same day. Your DNA matches mine. You are my daughter. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! This is proof. <laughs> oh my god! She same day. So you are my mother. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, let's go inside. 
site. Estamos no lobby fluindo. Just like I was saying, the man raped me. He raped me. I was a virgin. And he raped me. Got me pregnant. He raped me until I became unconscious. But by the time, by the time I woke up, he was nowhere to be found. He ran away. My mother died. My mother died. And my father, my father threw me away. He threw me out of the house. He threw me away. There was nothing to lay my hands on. I had no money. I had no job. I had no business. To eat was a very big issue. We were hungry. <laughs> we had nothing absolutely. I was totally frustrated. <laughs> so I took you and placed you in a basket. Took you to the river, kept you by the riverside for some word. A good Samaritan to pick you up and nurture you. <laughs> my daughter, I am not trying to justify my action. <laughs> from my heart, from my heart of hearts, I am sorry. I am deeply sorry. Please, forgive me. I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up to you. I promise to be a good mother. I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Daddy, please don't cry. You will always be my daddy. Okay, listen. I promise to always come and see you and mom. Okay? But for now, let me go with my real mother. You see, I want to taste the joy and love of a real biological mother. Please. I hope you understand. Yes, my daughter. I understand. <laughs> you know, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate you and your family. Thank you so much. Okay? This is a check of two million. Please use it. Two, two million naira uh, for me? Oh. I am not paying you. I won't even be able to pay you two for all you've done for me. I am grateful. Thank you. Eh? Thank you so much. Don't go yet. Of course you will go, but until justice is served.
Let's go. Hmm? Mother, I'm sorry. I won't go with you yet. What do you mean by that? Mother, I have an assignment to accomplish. Please come back here and take me as soon as I'm done. I don't understand. What kind of assignment? What do you mean? Ah, she's in the... What is it? What happened? Why not stay with me for a week or so? Mother will come back here and pick us. Please. <laughs> Sister, I think so. Let me just stay here, just for a while. <laughs> You can stay. Alright? Okay. Alright? Oh, let me... Let me go. Alright? Okay. Bye-bye! You see those last time guests inside today? Me, I want one. I want one now. Yeah. don't have money and you're talking about babes. See, ha, I'm not talking about money. You boy, see babes. See that time you are sick. Excuse me, excuse me. See the man, I'm a young man. Yeah, I can't. I don't want to see you taking place. You know I don't have job. I like two of them. What is it? The boy. What about the boys? It's good. Are we to chase them? My dear, I have never chased a guy before. Don't worry. Don't be scared. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let
Man, the old man that, that was coming towards us just now, where is he? We followed this path. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. My young men of this village are suffering from the abomination you committed. You know who you are talking to? Eh? Sir, if you don't do as I say, mm. you will run mad. You want me to... will normalize. Listen, I'm looking for the man that raped my mother. You mean your biological father? That man can never be my father. He can never be. You don't understand. Guys, I don't know what is happening in this village. No problem. No problem. No problem. This girl again? This guy. This guy have not done what I told him to do. Stella coming to us. If she messes up this time, eh, make sure you condemn her left ear. Condemn what? I want her there. Ha! Let's go. He will do it by force. Make sure you give her a dead slap. Condemn hey guys. Her. One more nonsense from you now. And you. I you will just... knock all your front teeth out. Did you submit yourself? Did you? Of course you didn't. Now listen to me. You were cast to the land. Go to the ship priest. Justice, justice, justice. Nine. 
now. Can you go to the ship please now? Yes. Can you? Yes, I'll go. I'll... Are you sure? I'll... Yes. Hello. I think you should involve the police in this thing your daughter is doing. No. If you involve the police, the man will go scot free. They have already admitted to the chief priest that they committed the crime. So all they need to do is to cleanse themselves and cleanse the land. But wait, let me ask you. How did she identify them? How? I don't know. It's her secret. Lagos next month, so that you formally adopt her as your daughter, so that whenever she gets married, all the traditional rights will be done here in your house as the legal father. Oh? No. Thank you. Oh? All right. All right.
Thank you for a job well done. But I couldn't have done it without you. Live a normal life as a normal mortal. What is wrong with you? Sister, just calm down. Just calm down. Calm down first. She's coming. Look at her. I can see her through the mirror. Smiling. Yes, okay, okay, okay. I'm mm. What happened? Mm. I'm fine. What happened? Can you tell me or something? Mommy, I'm fine. I like, you know that I was pressed, so I, I went to use myself. You mom? were pressed? Yes, mom. You went to use yourself? Yes, and you're still panting? Mommy, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm fine. Don't I look fine? Are you okay? Are you sure? Yes, mom. Rose. She says she's okay. <sighs> Alright. Let's hit the road. Oh, yeah. 